This is the V2V Podcast with Marcus Parrish and Alexi Lindez, Survivor Series, Diamond Ranch Academy, Academics, Administrative Staff. It's totally appropriate because we're talking about uh, Diamond Ranch Academy school program and the first thing I'm going to read is what they say their school program is and <clears throat> excuse me what it says is DRA students enjoy a normal safe structured high school experience without the negatives associated with public schools our intimate setting provides considerably more opportunities for our students they play football on Friday nights underneath the lights they play basketball during the week they play soccer they are part of the cheer squad and student council. They show off their latest oil paintings and compete in art shows. They perform on stage. They work with animals. They participate in hiking, speech, and debate, woodworking, music, 4-H, and other clubs. They receive personalized attention in a structured setting where the treatment can take place. I don't think I don't think any of these activities are sort of uh, like voluntary. I think you are forced to do these activities. I think that's part of program, and I think that you know, for for them to be like calling themselves a normal, safe, structured high school is quite quite a stretch considering their history and their past and what we know right. about them and what's going on. We know enough to be questioning about how, how real this is, and uh, soon we're going to be talking to people who've, who've gone there or and yeah. reading some testimonials about the environment. So... The reason I wanted to read their statement is to provide a way to contrast the reality from what they're trying to to present as who they are. Again, I don't. I, I guess it it should be said that we're not endorsing or advocating Diamond Ranch Academy by reading their propaganda. Right. What we're doing is um, presenting their side so that it can be shown to be um, fraudulent. Well, right. To to show how true or untrue it is based on you know reality. Yeah. <clears throat> so next we're going to get into like who runs the school, the administrative staff and program staff and some of these names are going to uh, be familiar because there's several people who seem to be in uh, more than one place or have more than one position at the same time and again as as we wrap all all this up all these names once we're done with this we can go back and look in further detail about how that could actually when be possible and and more along the lines of like what they're actually doing there and hopefully we'll get some people who you know know these people and their work and can yeah can talk about what again what really goes on rather than just uh, taking their word for it taking diamond ranch academy's word for it right so the first uh, guy we're going to talk about is named uh, Cody Wardle, and he's listed as a, a coach. So Coach Wardle is not a licensed mental health nor a medical professional in Utah. Mm. He has a Bachelor's of Science, emphasis in business management, and he's a certified first aid instructor, 
and then something called a certified PCS instructor. And I looked that up, and there's no such thing as a certified PCS instructor. It's not, it's not a thing. Like, it doesn't exist. So that's curious. Right. Like, you're throwing out these uh, initials that don't really mean anything. Like, I could be a... I could say I'm a certified PCS instructor, and it sounds sounds pretty great, but yeah. it doesn't mean anything. Are, are, in fact, are you a certified PCS instructor? Sure. Uh, his work experience consists of it looks like entirely working at at, at the facility. He started uh, as a uh, line staff or work staff. Uh, ONA staff, head staff, assistant program director, program director. And now this guy, Cody Wardle, is actually the director of operations for the entire, the entire program. Wow. So he's the big boss. And it's important to remember that what these people are representing themselves to be are, one, a school, two, they're offering therapy, uh, drug addiction, uh, rehab, and as impressive as a bachelor's of science with an emphasis in business management might be to some people, it really doesn't make you a good therapeutic boarding school director of operations. I, I can't understand how somebody with that background run this place. And I guess it's because he's a coach. But it doesn't even, he doesn't even have any, uh, coaching experience. You know, it's all, no. <laughs> it's all entirely in working at this school without any kind of, any kind of background in, in physical education either. Mm. So there's a, there's a big red flag. So then we have, uh, Shara Carter and she's the human resource director. She has no educational background listed, so that's that's curious. Dane Burton, uh, he has a master's of science in accounting and a bachelor's of science in recreation management and youth leadership from uh, BYU. He's certified in first aid and something called Aegis Intervention, A-E-G-I-S Intervention. Maybe we can take a look at what that is. Aegis intervention is workplace violence de-escalation techniques. Ah. Uh. It's almost like that's supposed to be some kind of replacement for, uh, for uh, I guess, a real education because this guy's an accountant. Dane Burton... He started out as an assistant program director, became a program director, and now he's the director of finance at Diamond Ranch. So he's the he's their accounting guy. But right. he didn't start out as director of finance. He started out as an assistant program director, which is also really curious. Why wouldn't he just immediately go, in, go into being the numbers guy? I guess they had to get him into the program as well, you know, in a sense. Yeah. So next we have... Now, these people are all in one class. They're called parent communications directors. Okay. I mean, I think these people are the kind of like the sales staff. Right. I get Right. So then we've got um, Marcel Hawk Harkey. Marcel has the bachelor's in sociology. Emphasis on human communication. He or she, I'm not sure, started out as the, a youth development counselor, lead youth development counselor, assistant program director, program director, and then parent communications director all at, all at the school. Another career. Ma Mari Simon. And Simons is not a licensed medical health or medical professional in Utah. 
and either are these other people that's something to remember too that a lot of these people are brand new and even the ones that are that do have a, a the right kind of background are new as well or newly certified newly licensed so Mari Simons is mostly based in real estate dance she's a dance instructor a house parent at some place called the Family Support Center. Did some work at a restaurant. No educational background. And then we have Thomas Timoteo as a parent communications director without any kind of information about what he's been up to. Trevor Thompson listed as a parent communications director slash conditioning and fitness trainer at three years on an athletic scholarship for baseball at the College of Eastern Utah. He has an associate's degree. His experience started out as something called the unemployment group leader at Diamond Ranch Academy. Then he became a staff supervisor, and now he's a youth development counselor. And every time I see these, this word counselor, it, 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 it kind of gets to me because he is in no way, he's not a counselor. He doesn't have a counseling degree. Spent three years in, in college on base, baseball scholarship and didn't graduate. Wow. Yeah. So fail. Big yeah. Fail. I feel, I feel like that's a real, like, that's something you need to, like, go to school for and be licensed to say that you are, you know? Sure. And even even the other part with the um, the conditioning and fitness trainer part. Yeah. I would think that, I would think that he would be a licensed um, trainer because that's yeah. also a thing. Like, you know, you can't just go right. into, like, LA Fitness or, or some gym and say, hey, I – I want to be a conditioning and um, fitness trainer. Sign me up. And they're like, okay, cool. What's your What's your background? Do you have Have you learned how to do that? Yes. Here's my certificate right here. They're like, yes. Sign. We'll sign you up, sir. But he has nothing like that. So even in even in the details where you're talking about, you know, the kids' physical education. Yeah, you really want like the one lady. She was a PE coach, or she went to. She got a degree in physical fitness. Like, yeah. why isn't why isn't she the one doing this? You know, she right. has the background. <laughs> right. Uh, next is Tyler Wright. He is also a parent communications director, and he studied at Dixie State University. He graduated from Hurricane High School, and he states that he's bilingual in English and Spanish, and his work experience involves, let's see, he was a Utah Regional Sales Manager for File, Fire Pro LLC, whatever that is, owner of Green Monkey Pests and Lawn. And then he became something called the Refocus Initiative Group Leader at Diamond Ranch Academy. Wow. Youth Development Counselor, Assistant Program Director, Stone Ridge and Girls Campus at Diamond Ranch Academy, and Program Director at Stone Ridge Sandstone Diamond Ranch Academy. Those are some of the names of the different areas, different programs for based on age at the school. So I think Tyler's a guy. Okay. I mean, there could be a there could be a female named Tyler, I suppose. But sure. I don't know why he'd be the assistant program director at the on the girls' campus when it's, there seems to be plenty of women who work here. He did, he doesn't have a degree. He studied at the university. He does have a high school diploma though. So right, there's that. Okay, so those are the um, – I see, and that's why I think it's a sales thing because a lot of these people, they don't really have what, backgrounds that would tell me that they're anything but 
But they also have these other really unusual high-level titles, too. So what are they, you know, the question is, what, what are they really doing there? Yeah. And the next topic is uh, programming. This has been an episode of the V2V Podcast Survivor Series with Marcus Parrish and Alexi Lindez, Diamond Ranch Academy. Stay tuned for Part 7, Academics, Programming. And as always, thanks for watching.